Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the word count feature in Microsoft Word. And this is a pretty basic feature, but it's quite important, especially if you're working with an editor or maybe a professor or someone like that who says, okay, hand in your assignment, it has to be a thousand words long. And this is how you do it. And there's also, by the way, a couple of neat tricks you can do uh, to make other sorts of work a little bit easier. So open up your document and go to the review tab. This is the same in a Mac or Windows, by the way. And first thing, you may already see the word count at the very bottom of the screen. Like this one shows that the whole document has more than 40,000 words. This is a book manuscript, which is great. But let's say you don't see it or you want to have another view of the word count. Basically go to the review tab and then look for the button that says word count and click it. Okay, it will show you not only the word count, but also the pages, the characters with spaces and without spaces, the number of paragraphs and the number of lines. Okay, that's a lot of information. If you want to, you can add footnotes and endnotes. Okay, now let's say that you just want to see what a certain paragraph is in terms of length. Easy. Highlight it. Go to the word count button and click it, and it will show you 74 words long. It will also show you characters with, uh, with no spaces and with spaces. This is useful if you're using an online form or some sort of software where it insists you can only enter a, a text entry with 100 characters, and that includes spaces. So you can use the word count feature in Microsoft Word to figure that out. For more tips on how to use Microsoft Word, check out our book, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.